As you all know, the Capra comes tubeless ready, but it still has tubes in it. So I'm kind of a procrastinator and I have waited. It's been about two months and I finally got my first flat tire down on my uh, last ride. So if you watched my last video, I kind of cut it off a little short. A couple things happened. One, I messed up all the footage. I changed all the color settings in the GoPro and totally ruined it. And of course I had a flat tire as well. So the rest of the footage was pretty, was pretty crappy. So today what I'm gonna do is pull the tires off, take the tubes out, and we'll go ahead and go through the process of making the bike completely tubeless. So here are some items that you'll need. I don't nece you don't necessarily need a air compressor, but they are pretty dang cheap at Harbor Freight. So I definitely would recommend having one. It's kind of nice to be able to fill up your tires, pump up a basketball or a volleyball or whatever. And of course, pump up your bike tires. So we'll start here with the front tire, letting all the air out of the tires. I definitely recommend taking the air out prior to removing the valve core. That way you don't launch the valve core. All right, so let all the air out. And then from here, I'm just gonna try and bust the bead, which came off very easily. We'll take one of our little tire tools. What you need to do is be careful to not damage the uh, tape on the inside. If you can see that there, there's tape in here. And that's what makes it tubeless ready. But if you damage that, you're gonna leak, so. Took about four of them. For me to work my way around. So at this point, we want to just take the tube out, and hopefully your tube you didn't wait. Like you I mean, your tube is so good, so you could reuse it later if you're out on the trail somewhere. All right. So from here, all I'm going to do is put it back on. And instead of putting the sealant in first, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with air first. See if it holds. And then just take the valve core out. We want to stick our uh, valve that comes with the bike. There is a little rubber seal there and a cap to hold it in place. Get those pieces off there, stick it in, show the rubber seal on, put it in. And tighten it down. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to kill it, just tighten it down. Right, and start putting your tire back on. Should be able to go quite a ways before it starts, before it's gonna require a little assistance. That's what we get. Use your little tire iron there. Start rolling it back in. There we go. All right, we should have enough air on the air compressor now. <clears throat> so another thing you'll need there's a little adapter. It goes from uh, those are Presto valves, I guess, to a Schrader valve. And then let's give her a whirl. Seems to be holding air. So we'll go ahead and let the air back out of it again. All right, and the little granite stash tool thing I bought here will remove the valve core. So we'll go ahead and use it to do that. And the reason why we're gonna do this is because instead of taking the tire back off, trying to get it back together with the uh, fluid bouncing around in it, it doesn't sound like fun to me. So we'll go ahead and just remove the valve core like so. And the reason why I bought these 
smaller bottles is so that one bottle is two ounces and I believe two ounces is all you need for a tire but I'm gonna go ahead and put two uh, three ounces so uh, one and a half of each of these will be enough to get the job done and the hole is just large enough here where we should be able to just pour it right in I figure the best part about these little bottles besides the fact that you can just pour them in the Schrader like this is that you can just buy the big bottle and then refill these little bottles with the big one so that you're measuring what you're putting in. All right, so there's one complete bottle. It'd be kind of hard to judge half, but I'll do my best. Yeah, a little more than half. It'll be all right, though. Put your, uh, your valve cord back in, tighten it down. All right, and if you didn't buy these little granite, cool looking little chingaderas there, that's what these little other black pieces are for that they come with the kit. You can put these on here and just tighten your valve cord down. Let's fill it back up. Move it around a little bit, make sure it's sloshed in each area. Alright, one done. Alright, tire number two. what popped my tire. This would be interesting. Be interesting to see if uh, the sealant will seal whatever hole I have in here right now. There it is. So that's what punctured my tire originally. Cool. So let's see if the sealant will do its job and seal it. Well, we'll put the sealant in and see if that works. If that doesn't work, we'll put a plug in there. There's the leak. Go ahead and get our stands down there. Shake it around a little bit. It's gone. You can see it's already trying to fill up that little hole. So that about covers it. I know it's a pretty easy thing to do. I know there's many videos out there. I kind of like to watch videos on things that I bought versus something else. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Hopefully it helps you. Hopefully you're not as much of a procrastinator as me and you go ahead and just get it done. So uh, cheers. Thanks for watching my videos.